So hey folks, Assalamu Alaikum. In this video, we are going to talk about network load balancer. So previously we have talked about our application load balancer and today we are going to basically talk about the network load balancer. So let's start with the basic one like concept. So network load balancer basically works in layer 4 and of OSI model. So if you just look into our uh, the image we talked about this one layer 4. Here you can see the like protocols like TCP and others. Uh, and if you just follow this TCP, UDP and so on, okay? These are the protocols with which it works, but uh, there are other benefits. Okay, so it can handle millions of requests per second. So that's obviously very much costly in uh, load balancer, okay? Uh, so, and it has less latency, okay? That means it takes very less time, like uh, it like, takes very, like 100 millisecond and uh, for uh, like application load balancer, it generally takes 400 milliseconds. So it's much, uh, it takes much less time, okay? Now, one important thing is NLB has one static <coughs> IP path uh, availability zone and supports <coughs> assigning elastic IP. And you will see uh, that in our hands-on. NLB uh, are used for like extreme performance. This is an important one. As you can see, it deals with requests like millions of requests per second then TCP or UDP traffic which is in our layer 4 and uh, it is not included in our AWS free time. That means see, if uh, like I'm going to practice this uh, hands-on and if you also do that you have to make sure you have some uh, credits because other than this it might cost a bit okay. Now talking about the architecture here you can see this is our load balancer okay. So <clears throat> now the thing is this is our internet from the internet browser. Well, what we are expecting is <clears throat> like some TCP, like obviously TCP protocol and alongside some rules as we have seen previously, we can set some rules uh, following that it can access to this uh, load balancer. Then it will be passed to uh, <clears throat> uh, this one or this one. Okay. Now here you can see HTTP. Now like uh, you can talk about like uh, we were expecting TCP or UDP, but here you can see HTTP or something. Right, uh, so the thing is health check supports and others. Here you can see uh, for health check support and others, and for the back end, we can actually use those. Okay, so network root balancer like target groups, we talk about that. We in the target group, we can have like uh, this is a target group. Okay, you can see the target group. Uh, so in the target group, we can have EC2 instances. Here we have one, two, three, four and uh, also or we can have ip addresses which has to be private ip addresses okay and how can you understand this by this image like here is a target group and we have two instances okay ec2 instances or we can have private ip and you know like every ec2 instance have some sort of private ip because it is associated with an elastic network interface right uh ani <clears throat> Uh, another thing is uh, and also like a server can be there because server also has its private IP so we can connect to a network load balancer with uh, the private IPs or we can connect a network uh, load balancer with an application load balancer. So in our previous hands-on we had uh, actually one application load balancer and if you have seen that previous video I have just deleted by the end of the session right but I have all uh, again created the whole uh, like application load balancer. So, okay, now we will learn about another gateway, uh, sorry, another load balancer, which is gateway load balancer. Uh, what is this gateway load balancer? It is uh, basically another load balancer which works in the layer 3. So, we have dealt with layer 7, layer 4, and now with layer 3. So, if you just see, uh, layer 3 is our network layer, and we have dealt with uh, network uh, layer 7, layer 4. And now layer three, okay. The recent uh, one, uh, so we won't be able to like. Uh, I'm not going to uh, actually have a hands-on on gateway load balancer, but we'll have a hands-on on obviously <coughs> network load balancer. Okay, so gateway load balancer. Just to give you the idea, it basically uh, is like deploy, scale, and manage a fleet of third-party network virtual appliances in AWS. It basically helps to manage third-party appliances and now we can say why third-party appliances are needed and maybe you want to make sure that your uh, traffic is uh, uh, it goes through a uh, firewall or something like that or it is checked before it goes to your application 
So for example, if this is the user and this is the application, previously what we used was uh, for between user and application, we had just the load balancer, right? Isn't it? But what uh, currently what we are going to do is we're just going to send our traffic to gateway load balancer. And what it will check is basically it has like a transparent network gateway which ensures single entry and exit. So it will like be like single enter, single uh, exit, okay? It will uh, ensure that then load balancer, the load balancer will actually distribute the traffic to virtual appliances. These are, these three are our virtual appliances, okay? For example, these two, three instances, and maybe they are uh, here to ensure that uh, the traffic is um, safe, okay? And uh, basically we are going to then, once it is done, it just returns back to the load balancer and load balancer then return, actually sends the, um, uh, sends our traffic to application, okay? Now, we basically, it basically uses the Geneva protocol on port 608i. Now, another thing is, uh, gateway load balancer has target groups for sure. Uh, you can see the target group. So, in the tar target groups, we can have EC2 instances, okay? You can see these, these the instance IDs in general, for example, or we can have private IP, okay? So private IP, uh, obviously EC2 instance has their own private IP using ENI and server, this is a server, so it can have that. So must be private or EC2 instance, so that's it. So let's now move into our hands-on uh, and we're going to create a network load balancer. So what you have to do is just go to EC2 dashboard, then uh, here currently we have two uh, instances running and you can say how it is running. It is basically, in my previous session I have talked about the uh, application load balancer and I've deleted it by the end of the session or video I just deleted all of the uh, uh, what would say uh, the running uh, instances and other uh, aspects so but right now uh, when I started this lab uh, before doing that basically I actually created everything back uh, uh, and also we have the application load balancer data as well so if you haven't seen that video just make sure that you have watched that one okay let it be now we have two instances running and uh, let's go to the load balancer. You'll see this is the demo ALB. Now let's see like how it works just for a quick demo like this one. And if you go to this one, uh, what we are expecting is a hello world from IP. You, you can see 31, 1, 143. And now when we reload this one, you can see it changes, right? It changes to 3177. And uh, if you go to our instances, there are two instances currently. So we'll just check their uh, actually uh, private IP. So you can see 31.14.143, uh, which is uh, something that's loading. Yeah, 143, great. And again, we have another instance that is, uh, I haven't given them any name uh, in this one, in this lab, and it is 31.77. So if you just reload, uh, 3177 so it works and uh, if we go into its public IP let's see if that loads or not okay uh, we can see it's not loading uh, and in our previous video I did mention why or which settings we did uh, make actually to make that happen in general when we go for this uh, when you press this one we can see our um uh, this uh, shell running okay but it is not working right now that's uh, interesting okay uh, because we basically let me show you what happened basically what i did was in the launch wizard this is for actually responsible for our instances i did in the inbound i did mention like uh, we are expecting only http traffic from the uh, load balancer security group not from uh, anywhere else not from any internet or any browser okay that's the reason so if you don't understand this one just uh, make sure to watch that video on application load balancer and i make sure i've just created draw some sort of images and make uh, just to make you understand that one okay let it be now talking about this one uh demo lb we are done with demo uh, like uh, application load balancer now we'll look for another one which will be our network load balancer and, and a funny fact is it is very expensive because it can handle millions of requests per second and uh, it uh, provides ultra low latencies let's go for create, create and demo nlb interfacing ipv4 uh, we have just one vpc uh, we've just kept that and also for example like we have uh, all availability zone 
now or you can call it is it i am going to choose every one of them because i did mention for the um high availability we are we do choose all of the uh, is it okay and uh, also in the uh, theoretical part when i mentioned about our uh, network load balance i did mention like nlb has one static ip part is it so this is how it works so you can see one static IP has been assigned or you can use a elastic IP, but we don't have any. So it is not selected here. Okay. And we are going to create a secret group for our load balancer. We just have one for our application load balancer. We have one for default. We will obviously skip that and one for instances, low, uh, the EC2 instances. So we are going to create one for here. Uh, I'm just going to draw uh, as soon as I have, uh, uh, as soon as I do launch this uh, load balancer, so then I will draw just what is happening here. So let's give it a name like uh, um, demo, then it should be me uh, SG uh, for NLB. Okay, I think that, uh, SG for NLB. Okay, and uh, the inbound rules we are currently um, will uh, allow HTTP traffic from anywhere. Okay. Okay, let this be and uh, security groups. That's good. Now let's move to here and let's remove this one and let's reload and uh, choose the demo as JNLB and deselect this one. And we have just this security group. Great. Now we have to create a target group. Uh, this is interesting. Now let me draw this one for a while so that you can understand what's happening. So what's happening is we have just created our own we are just creating we have not we have just created a security group for our load balancer for example and within that we will have a load balancer and uh, which is nlb network load balancer and we have already these two uh, uh, ec2 instances and they are within a security group which is called uh, launch wizard one okay um, let me give it the name wizard one and it is like the name is for this was uh, demo sg for nlb right this is what we have created so far okay now we are going to create a target group so what is this target group going to do as we did talk like uh, we do for example here network load balancer actually passes the um, traffic to a target group here you see target group within the target group we do have in our ec2 instances so for example now what we are going to do we are going to actually create a target group which will have this ec2 instances okay now uh, we are choosing, yes, we will have instances, uh, but IP address can be here. For example, IP address, it will mean that, okay, we are going to have private IP addresses. Within network load balancer, we can have application load balancer as well. Obviously, we can also have Lambda functions, which is serverless for AWS, for example. Okay, let's give it a name, which is TGNLB, target group for NLB, okay? Uh, we are like protocol TCP ATS, uh, uh, default VPC, uh, health check uh, can be done with TCP, HTTPS and so on. We are just uh, happy with HTTP. Now you can say what is health check as I did mention in our earlier video, that is like um, uh, this load balancer will, uh, there is a port called uh, slash health. So it will send some traffic to that protocol. Uh, the, that EC2 instance, basically our, we have two EC2 instances, it will send traffic to those EC2 instances and we'll check if the traffic is sent properly or not. If it is, then it will say, look, okay, it's healthy. Okay, now let's next and we will choose all our instances. We have two currently and then include a pending, including uh, as pending below uh, and then create our target group. That's great. Now we're done. Now we'll just reload this one and we'll have this TG NLB. Okay, great. Uh, we don't need any other thing, I guess. Now create load balancer. Okay, so let me remove this ones. These two, this is what? Uh, okay, this is for our application load balancer. And now here you can see it's provisioning. So it'll take us some time. And after that, it will be like, okay, it will be up and running and uh, it takes a bit time so 
let's pause for a while and I will get back as soon as it's running. Okay. Hmm. So let's go for it. So it's totally active now. Let's go to the link and copy paste this one. Let's see if that works or not. I think what happened. Oh, I've just pasted that for multiple times. That should not be here. Okay, let's just do it. And we're expecting the same output as this one. Let's see if it is working or not. Hmm. It might not. Oh, uh, there is a high chance or it can. Uh, for example, now here, if you go to the network mapping, security, listener, target group, if you go to target group, we have to see, yes, these are unhealthy. So this is not working for that reason. So how can we work on that? Okay, so it can work in this um, uh, to uh, actually make sure that it's working because you know, uh, like uh, as it is working with uh, the protocol of uh, for example like uh, we have said like we are going to get access uh, but like this launch wizard one just see what's happening this launch wizard one is expecting HTTP only from security group alb but from here this is also http right uh, this is basically using http we are going to access it but it is not said here it is not written here like it is it was um, we haven't written that so we have to add that we have to say that um, like from here add an example like we have to say that okay it should be HTTP expect HTTP from uh, the uh, NLB security group so so what happens uh, so what will uh, now now the thing is we haven't connected them now what will happen we are saying expect uh, traffic from uh, HTTP traffic from uh, this uh, one uh, this secret group and you can see like it can happen like you can expect history traffic from our load uh, load balances in network load balances. Okay, so we can do that. We can just save exam save that and uh, I think uh, it will take a bit time um, again uh, I think it has been This link has been like okay. I don't know why Okay, let me just check that out the load balancers. I'm just going to copy paste that one again I think that should be done or not. Okay. Great. It will, um, yeah, it's working. So the thing is, it will basically check for like, uh, again, if you just look into the load balancer, where is that? Yes, here. And uh, it should be obviously, a demo will be here as well. So if you go into the target group right now, um, right now, this health status should be, uh within a while it will be like uh, healthy okay because it will be able to now contact each other so we can take some time it will take a bit time uh, but the thing is most importantly you can see 172311143 this is something we are getting access to now if we just reload this one uh let's reload this for a while mm. and you can see like okay we're reloading that but it is not totally working but yes actually it will take a bit time rather than this it is like for LB it changes uh, within like uh, it takes very less time but for this it takes yeah now it's working now you can see 77 seven. Uh, this is our NLB okay uh, network load balancer it is 77 and 143 again loading loading uh, reloading loading we're doing that but it's still getting this one now it is not like it's not working the thing is that in general it is not that much of frequent like ALB okay it is very fast you can see it is not even like when we're loading it takes very less time rather than this if we just look into here uh, it takes some time but it is very faster like but as it is not changing for like uh, very like changing the values or changing from one instance to another it, it might seem like it is uh, it might not be working but you can see uh, 7143 so yeah, it just it does actually work. Okay, so yeah, that was it, I guess. Uh, and now we can, I think, we can just delete those uh, of our load balancers. So first of all, let's just select. I think both of the we can just select that and confirm. 
we're done with our load balancers then we are going to delete the target groups and uh, once done it will remove all of our network interfaces tglb so i want to delete the uh, as well delete let's see yes done mm, then security groups will just keep our uh, default one okay uh, other than this all of the I think we may face issues uh, and these are because of our instances let me just uh, uh, actually terminate them terminate the instances so it will be deleted within a while shutting down so as soon as it's done it will remove our like network interfaces uh, like ENI it will be removed as well then uh, we can easily uh, actually work with the security group okay where is the security group by the way sorry with we're within here network interface let's just reload that means the inter instances are not yet terminated we're expecting it to be terminated as soon as yes it's terminated now let's go to the network interface let's load it down and it should be dead yes it's gone now for the security group here uh for the default so we'll keep default and we will just remove others okay you can do that right now no yes okay i think another important factor should be is we haven't removed one important thing which is this one uh yeah it, it's automated deleted or not let's check okay we have to do delete these manually delete and uh, reload one done delete security group it should be reload yes only the default one so we are done uh, so we have no load balancer now and we have no security sorry only the default one uh, we have a uh, snapshot or something instances yeah we have no instances which is running uh, and it is basically if we look for running instance there is nothing okay so yeah that was it thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next video mm -hmm.